Hey everyone, welcome back to Desert Fox Gaming. So we have the next set of the mini tin collections here. We have the Galarian Rapidash, the Galarian Obstagoon, the Dragapult, Surfetched, and the Toxtricity. So I've heard some people say they don't really like these like mini tins. I think they're pretty cool. I mean, to, for what you get, they are a little bit pricey. You get what, two packs in here, a coin, and then like the mini tin, and then like the artwork that goes along with it. You know, ten dollars for two packs. Granted, they're probably like probably an XY Evolutions and like one of the older packs. It's definitely like the Pokemon Company probably trying to still sell their extra bulk that they have stocked up. But you know, it's Pokemon is like a collector's thing. So I guess you know they're not going to be as collecting ish because I'm going to open them right now. But I still think they're pretty cool. Also, my friend who is also into Pokemon recently pointed out to me that we basically have like a full on like rock band going on here. Like the Obstagoon is Kiss, the Glaring Rapidash, you know, could be like Freddie Mercury or someone like that nature or that rock star. I'm blanking, but there was another guy. And then obviously we have the English Knight with the Surf Etched over here. And then Dragapult. It's kind of like a rock punk. Obviously Toxtricity itself is like another 80s, 90s rock punkish like Pokemon. Also, we have a Galarian Weezing back here in the background. Anyway, that is the introduction for these. I also took like the stand from like the store because I thought it was pretty cool. And I need something to put these in because they don't stand up very well when you're trying to organize them. So let's go ahead and open all of these up. Dun, dun, dun. Not a huge rock fan. Never really have been, but if someone does have a rock interest, these would this this region probably has the most relatable Pokemon. <laughs> also, I'm trying to get the other ones, the, like the Kanto Mini Tin set collection, and I have like two other sets that I opened up. I'm trying to figure out a way to like frame them when the cards are all lined up though, the little mini artworks that come in it. It's like an awkward three and a quarters inch and then like 13 and like barely over a half. So it's either you need to get them like custom framed, which is not what I'm going to do because it's kind of expensive. Or you need, I need to figure out how to like do it myself. I could also get my dad to try to like make a frame. He would probably be able to do that relatively more easily than I would be able to. Mm hmm One more plastic wrap here and then we will see. I am betting XY Evolutions and a Sun and Moon something for these packs that are going to be in here. This is not coming off very easily. Come on plastic. There we go. Almost there. Alright. We have out of the Dragapult. Oh look! Sun and Moon. I was right. And, oh no, it's not Sun and Wow, it's Darkness of Blaze. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, there's our Dragapult mini artwork. Pokemon number 887, the stealth Pokemon. When it isn't battling, it keeps Dreepy in its holes on its horns. Once a fight starts, it launches the Dreepy like supersonic missiles. Poor Dreepies. They're getting like, they're the baby forms. They're the babies. You're supposed to protect them. All right, well, we have Darkness of Blaze and a Sun and Moon. All right. Start making two piles right here. We have the Galarian Surfetched. What do we get? Oh, we're getting the more Blastoise coins. All right. Sun and Moon. Darkness of Blaze. Oops, wrong piles. All right, Surfetched, what is your Pokemon entry? Number 865, the Wild Duck Pokemon. Only Fardfetch that have survived many battles can attain this evolution. When this Pokemon leak, when this Pokemon's leak withers, it will retire from combats. Well, leaks wither pretty fast, so Fardfetches must have a very short lifespan. Blastoise, Blastoise. All right, Toxtricity. Pokemon number eight hundred and forty-nine, the Punk Pokemon. When this Pokemon sound, 
the, when this Pokemon sounds as if, as if it's strumming guitar, it's actually clawing at the protrusions on its chest to generate electricity. Well, that's a little bit gnarly. Hmm, interesting. What protrusions? I guess those ones, the five, how many, two, four, six, how, I don't know how many strings a guitar usually has. But, oh well. All right, Obsigan, what is your entry? Another Blastoise. All right, number 862, the blocking Pokemon. Its voice is staggering in volume. Obstagoon has a tendency to take on a threatening posture and shout. This move is known as obstruct. Very useful when you're playing big basic decks. And our last Galarian Rapidash. Dun, dun, dun. All right. What do we have here? The unique horn Pokemon. Brave and prideful, this Pokemon dashes airily through the forest. It steps aided by psychic power turn stored in the fur of its fetlocks. For the fetlocks are down here if you guys don't know horse anatomy, but at least I'm pretty sure this is where they are. All right, that is a pretty cool rock band we have going. We've got what? The soul female. We have the kind of like vocalist, the guitarist, the drummer, and then the keyboard, something or another, or like backstage power guys. Can't have a show without a backstage crew. All right, let us go ahead and open up the first Sun and Moon. So we do have 10 packs. It's a pretty good video right here. Pretty good number of Pokemon packs. At least we're going to go open today. All right, we have a cutie fly, drowsy, a Rowlet, and a Lone Grimer, a Spiro, a hol Reverse Holographic Polyrath, and a Alternate Art Taros GX. Sweet! That is pretty cool. I do not have one of these right now, and now I do. What is it? Rage. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon, and Horn Attack for a 60. Obviously, the Sun and Moon are not legal anymore, but they are still collectible. All right, we have more Fire Energy. Team Skull Grunts. Haven't seen one of those before. A Pessimian and a Great Ball. Still a card you can play because it's been reprinted. Nice. Tara GX starting off well. Let's see what we have in the next one. It's always fun to start off nice and then it kind of like slows down. Usually. All right, we have another Passimian. Oh, look, another Great Ball. A Bulldore. Poplio. Growlithe. Greppin. A Zubat. Dorkle. A Reverse Holographic Bulldore. And a Crabominable. All right, we have more fire energy. We have a potion, a Torcat with a sun collar, a poison barb, Cosmog, a Rogen Rolla. You know, when did these actually come out here? 2017, three years ago, almost four years ago now. A little Meowth, a Jupiter, a Grubbin, and a Hariyama. But in the terms of Pokemon, that is like for a century ago. I mean, Hariyama is the second stage, has 130, and needs four energy to do 130 damage. And it also has a four retreat cost, which is quite a lot. Or right, Taurus GX, I think you started us off too strong. All right, we have the Grass Energy, we have a Trumbeak, a Corsola, Energy Retrieval, another Growlithe, another Rodinrola, another Cosmog. Oh, there's a Litten. We have a Psyduck, a Verse Holographic Poplio, and a Holographic Rubombi. Charade of Pollen, once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from one of your Pokemon. Interesting. All 
Ooh, that one is a little badly scuffed up right there. Hmm. All right, we have the steel type energy. We have a Grand Ball, Pokeball, a Dartrix, Carvana, a Snubble, Wingle, Lillipup. I caught a shiny one of those on Pokemon Go recently. Cosmog, a Reverse Holographic Stoutland, and a regular Stoutland. Wow, interesting. All right. Well, that kind of works. What you doing, Arya? All right, so that is it for the Sun and Moon. Really only good card right there was the Taros GX Alternate Art. Hopefully we have something exciting in these five Darkness of Blaze packs, though. More V-cards would be nice, and the Charizard would always be nice. I'm kind of giving up on getting the Charizard V-Max from the Champion's Path, considering you can't find any Champion's Path in stores. But Pokemon Center Online did finally restock online and you can get them for about half the price as what most other people are selling them for. So guys, don't forget to check out that store as well. All right, we have the wonderful Grass Energy, a Vanillish, Poltergeist, Soul Rock, a Carablast, Galarian Darumakra, Larvitar, Nickets, Bounce Sweet, a Rosal Gothic Aaron, and a Hippowdon. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll look to have a, another little Aaron. And the Electricity Energy, a Dictrio, a Rare Fossil, Simisage, another Aaron. Oh, that's the same one. Anyway, Rickety, Wishy Washy, Kansage, a Lictoros, a Rotelographic Golet, and a Wigglytuff. Yep, you know, actually looking at the art on the on this again and when they're all lined up, they're kind of like the halftime show setup going on, the rock band in the middle of playing a soccer game or possibly a Pokemon match. Alright, we have a Simsir, Larion, Gold PC, oh look another Tauros, another Rickety, Glaring Mr. Mime, a Electric, Dino. Struggle Loves, and a Talonflame. All right, so these packs were not as exciting. That's okay. I still think it would be interesting. I'm sure someone has done it. They've kind of like gone and done statistics on like which cards or which type of card buying things are more likely to have good pulls. Ursa Ring, Heat Energy, Simisir. Jigglypuff, Diglett, Panpour, Spinarak, Bound Sweet, a Reverse Holographic Pansage, and a Berardic. Obviously with Champion's Path, for whatever reason, people seem to be pulling really good cards out of the double V-boxes. Which everyone seems to leave and someone posts it's like, thanks to whoever left the one double V-box because pulled that sweet Charizard out of it. But, obviously that doesn't work for everything, or for everyone. All right, we have the Water Energy, a Toxapex, Big Parasol, Shenotic, Benelby, a Paris, Larvitar, Golette, a Thibas, a Relicanth, and a Muck. All right, so that is all for these 10 packs. Really the only thing exciting we got was this Alternate Art Taurus GX way back in the beginning. Definitely have more bulk. I'm gonna switch out the Reverse Hollows in my binder. I'm gonna keep those up. Don't have a Sun and Moon base set binder yet. Probably won't. It's a little bit too far back for me. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. Let's go see this artwork one more time. I do think it's pretty cool. Just randomly. I wish almost they were like more of like a 4x6 or like a 5x7 sized so they could easily be fit into like a regular picture frame, but that's okay. Anyways, there is the wonderful artwork. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.